everyone and welcome back to Prison Architect. I'm loving this game right now. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 9 I think and in this episode hopefully we'll see this classroom get to work. I built this in the last episode. Actually as well in the last episode we had a number of escapees. About 4 escapes I think they were. So we've had to get increase our prisoner intake back up to 7 now. Uh, actually I think I might need some more CCTV cameras in this classroom as well. So let's go ahead and some more in just so I can have a, a view of what's going on in there there we go our prisoners are nearly coming now again on this episode keep an eye out see if you can see anyone farting because I still haven't seen anyone fart surely while they're eating someone's gonna have a fart oh look at this guy he looks pretty mean he looks like Chinese he looks like Kim Jong-il Andrew Lim convicted for the attempted assassination of a major politician oh my god he might be the killer of Kim Jong-il also suspected in the deaths of three other politicians, a judge, a navy admiral, and a pizza delivery driver. Wow, this guy's brutal. But I don't think he's as bad as our main man, prisoner. Usually in, the, usually you can find him in the solitary cell. Can't see him right now. Where is he? Can't even remember his name. There he is, Darley. Richard Darley, he's the beast. Alright, we need to reduce our prison intake. Uh, prisoner intake now. So, put that back down to zero. Because we've only got 54 cells. Now, I need to start thinking of building some more cells, actually. And we've probably got too many guards now as well, actually. Because I hired a whole load of them to uh, to try and stop the prisoners escaping in the last episode. <laughs> Alright, so let's sack a number of these. And that will boost our daily cash flow in uh, again. So we've got 19 guards. I just must have spammed that big time. Alright, let's sack that one. And... That one. So now we're back down to 15. So that's increased our daily cash flow up to 2,500. Now, guys, do rem remember to send me a message and let me know if you want me to increase the length of these episodes. Olaf did ask, and uh, I obliged in the last episode, but I'm not sure if uh, you all want to watch such a long episode. So just let me know. Uh, where are the prisoners going now? They're going for a shower. Look at this. They're all struggling to get through that one door. Mackenzie's left. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here comes the new the new intake. That's it. Strip them down to their bare bones. You guys are naked now. Let's see who we've got. We've got Martinez. Warren Hornybrook. <laughs> Hornybrook. Let's hope he doesn't get horny with the other prisoners. <laughs> Connor Mercury. He's only 19. What's he in for? He's a world famous thief at 19 years old. Known for his silver tongue and quick wit. Wow. Whoa, what's going on over here? What is going on? Oh my god, there's been fights again! <laughs> Richard Darley's been knocked unconscious. He's always causing trouble, that guy. Love it. <laughs> People are injured. I think this guard's going to take himself off to the doctors. There we go, to the infirmary. Go on, mate, you go and get patched up. Blimey, O'Reilly. There's all sorts of trouble going on. We've got some guy on parole. Paul Porter. Nine, dies of, nine days without incident. Good. We've got people having... Uh, having visitation so that's good hygiene he's saying hygiene is not very good look mate if you want hygiene you're in the wrong place this is prison you guys need to pay for your crimes against humanity look at our storage room full of storage all right what else have we got going on classroom come on guys is anyone actually going into our classroom let's go into our programs all rooms booked i don't understand why it says that does anyone know why it says that all rooms are booked because there must, there must be a bug or something, because we've got the classroom. No one's in there. Ah, oh, maybe there's no slot for it? Could be. Free time, so we've got lock up, sleep, eat, shower, yard, free time, and work. Could be work time. Maybe if we change that to work, maybe that'll get them... Hmm. I don't understand. Well, we've got three who have passed the parole hearing. Um, if anyone knows the answer to this foundation education program problem can you please let me know uh, that's puzzling me so if I stop that again there's no slot for it so is it conflicting with something else in our regime or what could be I suppose so we've got eating yard is at 3 p.m. let's make that free time I'm assuming they do it in their free time they've got lots of free time now maybe that will work let's go back to our programs and see if we can start it now Carpentry apprenticeship. No one's interested. All rooms are booked. So what happens if I stop some of these parole hearings? 
Will that work? Workshop safety induction. Hmm. That's at 10 to 12. Kitchen safety and hygiene. So let's stop that. And then start our foundation education program again. All rooms are booked still. Hmm. Who knows? Please someone get in touch with me and let me know the answer to that. Otherwise I'll just look it up on Google and uh, try and figure that one out. Alright, so I think I might have figured out what the problem is. It could be something to do with either the program not having enough slots for them to uh, study in. Or it could be that we haven't got enough teachers. Or it could be something else entirely. So maybe if we try and get some more... Uh, maybe work? Maybe that will fix it. Let's have a look now. Let's go to programs. All rooms are booked still. Could be the teachers not available? Hmm. I'm really going to have to look at this closely. So, workshop safety induction. So he's doing that. What about if I stop that and then restart our foundation education program? Aha, uh -huh, now it's working. So maybe it takes the foreman to do it or something like that. Let's just click workshop safety induction. Alright, now it should work. It looks like the classroom's going to function. Yay! All right, we've got 52 out of 54 prisoners, so I suppose we better start thinking about producing more uh, cells. I might need to expand this canteen as well, actually. So I'm going to go ahead, lay some more foundations for more cell, uh, for a bigger canteen. So let's do that. Come on, dudes, get in and, and build our new place. All right, and then up here maybe we need some more foundations as well. So I'm going to go and click on that get some more foundations up here that's gonna cost nine thousand three six hundred whoa well I guess potentially we could build more cells up here maybe yay people are going to be taught in the classroom sweet who's who's being taught we got Matt McKenzie nice we've got who's this guy Joseph Patel Duncan Steele Scott Pennington Matt Barsby, yeah, that's it, guys. He wants spirituality, dude. We're not having no churches, at least not yet in our, not in our, uh, not in our jail just yet. Okay, so everything's looking awesome. Yeah, we've got people working in the laundry. Yay, things seem to be functioning good. So they're all going to have clean clothes, which, uh, well, at least some of them will have clean clothes. <laughs> ah, we got a guy trying to escape. Ah, you can't escape, mate. There isn't no, there's no exit. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're not going to escape. Come on, guard. Come and get him. Here he comes. Go on. Give him a smack down. I'm going to move him over here. See if he can find him. There he is. Get him. This prisoner's ready to fight. He's like, oh, whoopsie. <laughs> Chase him, guard. Guard's tired. Oh, he's trying to escape. Oh, he's found a way all the way to the front gate. And the guards are just beating him back. They're like, no way. You ain't coming out of here, mate. Ho, ho. He tried his luck, though. Fair play to him. But I'm afraid not. Right, let's lay that there. Then we can extend our canteen. Make it... You know what? We need our kitchen to be bigger as well. So I'm going to make the canteen like that big. Build that down there. Maybe the kitchen should go there, like so. Up to there. Okay, so five boxes in. Lovely jubbly. So we need to do, 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 find kitchen on here. There we go. Oh, we can expand this. Nice. So then we need to demolish that brick wall. It's all very fiddly, isn't it? There we go. Look at that. That's going to be very cool now. Going to have a bigger canteen. Bit more room for everyone. Good. So let's put a wall there. Right, guys, hopefully you're still enjoying my content. Do don't, do remember, sorry, that if uh, if you want to get in touch and let me know anything you want me to cover, maybe in tutorial or tips, or anything you want to see in my prison, just let me know. I'm always up to suggestions, so uh, keep, keep the comments coming, and let's get a conversation and dialogue going about this cool, awesome game from in Introversion Software. All right, canteen, so here we go. Make that bigger, like so. Now we've got a bigger canteen, and we can move the serving table. Yeah, the kitchen still needs increasing. Um, let's go to kitchen. Do a bit of a do a bit of a fancy redesign here. Uh, maybe they could do with some more storage in there. Um, 
Where are they? Fridges. There we go. Let's put a couple more fridges in there. Maybe another cooker, I think. Put that next to these. Lovely. Now this needs more tables and benches and stuff. Okay, so let's go here. Table. Get some more tables laid out. Just to make sure everyone's being fed properly. I don't want to be accused of uh, of starving my prisoners. That's not the type of uh, prison warden that I am. I'm a gentleman and a scholar. There we go. That's increased that. Our workshop's still being used. Everyone's locked up. Let's see. what's. I wonder what other rooms I can build. If there's any new rooms. Now we're in the Alpha 34 build. There might be some new stuff. Could have a library or a chapel. What happens when a bureaucratic committee gets together and designs a solution to inmates' religious needs? A multi-faith prayer room, that's what. We refer to it as the chapel. Okay, so it needs to be a minimum size of 6 by 6. So I could put the chapel up here, I suppose, next to the classroom. Let's go and do that. Um, let's put it here. Now, I know my prison is not exactly the most famously designed at the moment, but we will get there eventually, I promise. And like I said, if you've got any ideas of how to improve things, I'm open to suggestions. I'd like to hear from you all. So, let's make this a uh, multi-faith prayer room. Chapel, there we go. Drag that there like so. And that should be big enough. So we need an altar, pews, and a prayer mat to put in there. Prayer mat, okay. Put a couple of prayer mats, I suppose. Some pews. Lovely, they can sit there like that, and the altar can be... Uh, actually, I haven't designed this very well, have I? Let's have a look. Put that there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Go back. Put the... We've got the altar. Put the prayer mats in front of it. And pew there. I don't want a big one. Eventually, maybe we can have a big one, but not yet. Not really bothered too much, as long as they've got something to satisfy them. Look, what more do they want? They've got pool tables, they've got shop, they've got everything they could want. Alright, ooh, we need some we need some electricity. Those fridges are without electricity, all the food's gonna go off. Uh -oh, then I will be in trouble. There we go, put some more electricity down there. Probably put those cables all wrong, but never mind. Alright, everyone's going to go eating. There's Darley, Darley and Luke Swag. These look like the most uh, aggressive prisoners. Obviously, we Darley's got a history in my, in my prison, so we know what he's up to. But this guy, Luke Swag, I don't know. He's been arrested for blinding people with his shine. Saturday night, 8th of August, two unsuspecting people ran into him. Just when he had put on his sunglasses. Both victims were found with melons all over them. What on earth? He's been sentenced to 25 years for multiple crimes, including murder and false imprisonment. What? This guy's alright. Paradox. I have no clue what he's all about. There we go. Ah. Oh, we need some more serving tables. Whoops, forgot about that. They're probably not going to get enough food and they're all going to go mad and get angry at me. Oh, God, no. Oh, we got all this stuff. This is... That's all, that's all in the way, blocking up our kitchen. Hopefully the, the uh, caretakers will, and the uh, builders will take care of that eventually. That's our little staff room. Where's everyone going now? To the shower. You dirty buggers. Stop staring at each other, it's weird! Alright, let's put another CCTV camera in there at the back. Oh, this guy's a fatty! You've been eating too much, son! He can't get out! <laughs> we've got a jail door there, whoops! You know what, we've got a jail door there and a normal door there. That's not, um... That's not the way to do it, is it? We need another door here. Normal door, I think. Come on, builders! Come on, construction man! That's it, he's installed the CCTV. Lovely. Now get rid of this door for me. Still haven't seen anyone fart. What's wrong with you all? You're not men. Am I in a woman's prison or what? Women don't fart. Of course they don't. That's what they tell us gents anyway. <laughs> Come on, construction man. Get rid of this door. Are you coming to dismantle it or what? Apparently not. Yeah, come on. Get rid of it. Let's go back. Put our regular door there. Can't have people locked up. Oh, 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 oh. Fight, 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 fight. Yeah, go on, guys. My god, all our guards are getting beaten up. What is the matter with you guys? Twelve prisoners have serious complaints. How do I find out what their complaints are? God, oh, man. You need to relax, guys. Relax, you guys. Come here. Yeah, let's put my normal door on there. I've given them everything they could want. They've got lovely rooms. You know, they've got pool tables. They've got a prayer room. They're getting educated. What more could they want? Not every prisoner gets this, do they? 
Okay, let's go to our needs and see what the problem is. Food. So maybe they're not getting fed enough. Maybe we need another another chef in there. Well, we have got a fair few. Um, oh no, we've got three cooks already. I don't want another one. Maybe they're not getting enough food. Let's see. Na, 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 na. Let's see. One prisoner's due for release soon. We've got 52 out of 54 prisoners. Three visitors on site in one group. Yeah, they're having a little visiting session. Isn't that lovely? Free time. Is anyone using that prayer that prayer room? There they are. Keithman. And put Ah, oh, I wish I hadn't turned on Fog of War. And do you know what I wish I had turned on actually? Gangs. That would have been so cool seeing some gang warfare going on, but never mind. You know what? We need a CCTV camera in here as well. Keep an eye on you guys while you're praying. Who knows? There could be some some naughty, nefarious goings on in there. That's it, everyone's using my weights. Good, good. And still we need to wait for this education reform program to complete. Actually, no, we can take up another grant now. Ooh, which one should we take? Security procedure certification. Hire a security chief. Hire ten guards. Unlock patrols for bureaucracy. And assign three guards to patrol routes. Yeah, we get twenty thousand for that. That's not bad, is it? Prisoner acclimatization and engagement. Assign three prisoners to work in laundry, three prisoners to work in the kitchen, and three prisoners to work in the cleaning cupboard. I'm going to click on that one. I might already complete that. I have! i got $40,000 now. Awesome! It paid off having uh, put all those people to, to work. Now, I think we could be ready for some more, more cells. But I don't want to go overboard. Oh, we need to connect up that CCTV monitor as well. And oh, he hasn't even installed that one in the uh, in the chapel yet. Come on, builder, get to work. There we go. Now he's doing it. Lovely. Now, if you click from the CCTV camera to the CCTV monitor, I don't think it'll work. It never used to. So I'm going to do it the old school way. And there we go. Now we can spy on people while they're praying. Who have we got praying? Spirituality. He needs spirituality. We've well, got that now. Hope you're happy. <laughs> Okay, so up here, perhaps we could begin expanding our our jail. Now, our kitchen, our uh, kitchen and canteen may eventually need to be moved because if we're going to have more cells up here, that's a long way to come to eat. Although they could have their own kitchen because you can um, specify where you want that. So I might do that. Hmm. Well, first of all, we need to lay the foundations anyway. So let's get some more foundations laid. Actually, let's cover this whole area. Look at that, 17,670. That's a lot of money. All right, let's expand that bit too. And that, oh, it won't let me do that. Come on. No, it won't let me do that either. There we go, now it will. Good. So we're going to have a nice big area of prison ready for us to uh, work in. And we can start thinking about expanding even further eventually. But now we can do another grant. So which one should we do? Prison manufacturing facility. I'm going to do this one. Security procedure certification. So we need to unlock patrols through bureaucracy and assign three guards to patrol routes. We've already hired a security chief and we've already got ten guards. Okay, good. So we need to go to bureaucracy and unlock da -da -da -da, patrols. Okay, so where's that? There it is. Patrols. Intelligence. Training for your guards to become better at tracking and recovering contraband. I'm going to unlock that as well. Why not? Lovely. Look at this. Awesome. So we're going to unlock patrols and we need to assign three guards to patrol routes. So I think to do that, I think we need to go to deployment. Actually, how do we do that? I can't remember now. Is it deployment? No, because we've already assigned guards. We need to figure... Ah, because we need to unlock patrols first and then we unlock... Uh, then we can actually plan a patrol route. Okay, good. Gradually figuring this all out again. It, it's taken me a while to get back into it. I did have a long playthrough back in sort of Alpha 26, I think it was. But uh, it's been a while. Let's see what everyone's up to. This guy's like peeing and puking all over his cell. What on earth, Duncan McKenzie? He's one of the troublemakers as well. And this Dali guy, well, he's just a nightmare. He served 5.4 years out of 13. Now, we need three more prisoners, so let's go... In and increase our intake. I'm just going to get some gentle souls for now. 
Now, what I'm curious about, actually, is how is our classroom doing? So let's have a look. Foundation education program. We've got... Is this how many people we've got in it? So we've got one interested. Uh, no one's completed anything yet. We've got 20% of people have passed kitchen safety and hygiene. That's good. Okay, so if we go over to the kitchen, have we got anyone employed in there? Supposedly we have, so we should have at least three in there. Three qualified prisoners. Good, good. So they should come and do some washing up and stuff. You come and do the cleaning. Chefs will do the cooking. We'll have a fully functioning place before you know it. All right. So, yeah, what else? Assign three guards to patrol routes. So we can actually do that now. We can assign our patrol routes. Let's press play. Guard patrols. Here we go. So I think we ought to have... Um, oh, that's insecure. That's not good. I'm going to have one guard patrolling out here, I think. Just walking around outside, making sure no one's escaping. I'm going to have one guard patrolling along here. And one guard patrolling outside. There we go. So that should meet that objective. Assign three guards to patrol routes. Shouldn't it? Let's have a look. Guard patrols. There we go. So then what do we do? Do we need to do anything else? Hmm. I think we do, but I don't know what. Showing deployment now. Hmm. Guards. So maybe click one there. We've got one there. How do we assign guards to patrol routes? I used to know this. Why don't I know anymore? I'm becoming a failure. Help me. Come on, mates. Hurry up and build this. People are going to start escaping soon. Quick. Do it. They're going to wake up very soon, and then they're just all going to make a run for it. God, if they notice that big gap. Although there are four guards there who can beat the crud out of them if they do cause trouble. All right, let's see how many people are getting fed now. We're up to 40-odd percent. This is good. People are getting fed. Because that was one of their big complaints just now. Here we go. Here we go. Look, fighting already. Look, you guys. Deaths. One person's dead already. This guy. Paul Ansley's dead. Oh, Mr. Lim, the guy who killed King Kim Jong-il. He's been knocked unconscious. Crikey, guys. You need to relax. What on earth is going on? One death. I, I think that impacts badly on your on your prison. Whoopsie. <laughs> Okay, what uh, what was I doing? I've forgotten now. Du, 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 du. Yeah, assign three guards to patrol routes. Why are you not being assigned to patrol routes? Well, uh, if I'm going to need some expert help from you, the viewers, you know you, you're my guys. You know everything much more than me. Oh, we're nearly at full on our power station as well. You know what? I'm going to get another power station. Uh, let's go to utilities. Put another power station and put that. Uh, yeah, over the side of the road. I know it doesn't look very tidy right now. I'm a bit fail on that stuff, but um, we'll get there eventually. There we go. Put some more capacitors on here. Spend a load on there just so we don't have to worry about it for a while. And then connect that into the main power grid. Sweet! Now they've nearly finished the foundations on our new part of the, part of the jail. Good. Come on. Finish it up. There it is! Ta-da! New part of our jail, so soon we can start thinking about what we need, what we can do with that. All right, let's put some walls in there, just so these guys' cells aren't exposed. It's a new area. Oh no, we're over, we're overpopulated. Fifth, no, we're not. No, we're not. We just need to close those cells. Okay, good. Mm, showers functioning. Is everything functioning? We're feeding all prisoners again. Come on, guys, get in here and eat quickly. Quickly. I wonder, how, I wonder how our education program's going. Is it going well so far? We've got two interested. When are they going to go and do their educating? Is that during work? Yeah, it is, I think, isn't it? So 10 a.m. So soon. Oh, no, we're at 3 p.m. Yeah, so 6 p.m. We should have some people going to the classroom. Okay, we need to close off... Close off this... There we go. Build some more walls. There's their... That's their yard. Look at that. Repping. Look at the reps this guy's doing. White. Ah, White's too quick for me. What are you up to, White? So he's be, he's in jail for sentence to eight years for multiple crimes, including fraud and bribery. God damn it, mate. You're all so much trouble. 
Can't believe I've had one death on my watch today. That's ridiculous. Well, guys, I think that's probably the end of the episode for now. I'm going to go away and find out how to assign these guards to patrol routes, unless you guys get to me first. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe as usual. And take care. Bye-bye.